<laughs> uh, puro international pero ano eh pero hindi ako hindi ako nag-travel dito lang ako sa <laughs> Philippines yeah. eh, lahat yun uh, yung process talaga sobrang um, para sa akin uh, um, it was smooth pero at the same time syempre um, I wish you know that I I could have traveled there uh, my my kapatid Troy is in LA right now you know like I I miss doing that I miss uh, recording uh, songs with him and Uh, ginawa namin yung song uh, uh, lahat online you know like uh, we just use this app uh, this app na pwede nila pwede ako marinig uh, from the studio but um, I haven't actually met um, yung mga songwriters like si Andreas Josh and Kenneth I haven't met them but uh, we follow each other on Instagram and they've been showing support naman but it was a great um, it was a great experience you know um just yung yung support na nanggagaling din um sa kanila from Troy to um to the uh, amazing amazing songwriters yung pro- that 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 kind of um yung vibe yung relationship yung support that kind of made the process really smooth and um really fun and yeah and nabuo yung fix me <laughs> so are we going to wait for an album ba or isa-isa munang release ng singles from Jake? Um, I, the way I see it, I probably uh, single, I, I mean, to be honest, parang ano, no, like parang uh, sa music industry ngayon, parang usong-uso yun, like ma, isa-isa muna, ganyan, and then, uh, and then album, sometimes EP, ganyan. So probably, the way I see it, parang ganun yung mangyayari. But uh, so far, you know, like, um, We're still uh, um, enjoying Fix Me, and um, pretty soon there are some, you know, like projects that uh, um, Troy and I are working on, and I'm really, uh, really excited for that. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, G, for my other question, naman, this is also a big year for you, di ba? Kasi yung documentary mo won sa Japan, da- tama ba? Yeah, um, yes. So, yes. what was what was the feeling like for? winning yung documentary mo nga internationally I um I I I feel very proud to be Filipino to be honest kasi I know that I uh, the basically the documentary represented Japan but um I feel very proud na alam kong um yung mga Japanese uh, the NHK um trusted uh me my story Uh, na and believed in it na na binigyan nila ako ng confidence na alam nila na um na yung story ko will actually um uh do something for for other people na nakakaranas din ng mga ng mga bagay na napagdadaanan ko pa at napagdaanan ko noon and um i feel very uh blessed na i know na aside dito sa sa country natin i know that there are Um, other people from other countries na na um, that 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 really uh, care for my story and um, and and I was actually nervous to say Japan and I wasn't sure if they were uh, you know like open minded uh, in terms of you know LGBT or um, the trans transgender community uh, but but I was really surprised you know they've been showing the documentaries in Japan until now and. Um, Japanese people have been showing support sa akin and I, I, I'm very grateful. Yeah. So lastly na lang, no, if I may ask, you have been in the Ellen DeGeneres show many times. We can mm-hmm. So how did you feel na parang mag end na yung, yung show ni Ellen mm-hmm. next year? But may konting issues behind yung reason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I've, what uh, I've, do you I've say about that? that? Yeah, so lalo na no ang daming Pilipino actors yes. na naka tungtong sa students. Um, I uh, mixed emotions. I mean, I I I've seen the the issues and obviously I've never really um in, I never really known her like that, you know, like yung personal talaga. So hindi ko alam kung, you know, like kung ano yung paniniwalaan ko, but I what what I know is, you know, like when I was um on her show, she was very nice, she was very kind to me. And she was very supportive. And um, napaka, obviously, alam nyo naman lahat, nakita nyo na napakalaki ng tulong na talaga nabigay niya sa akin. And um, uh, siguro in general, malungkot ako kasi kahit na ano yung issue na 
na lumabas. I also know that she helped a lot of people. Um, siguro if we're gonna look at it at the bright side na lang, no, season 19. And, you know, like, napakatagal, napaka, uh, laki na nang na-contribute niya din sa buong mundo. And um, I just hope that, you know, that she, um, na kahit na matapos yung Ellen DeGeneres show, I hope that she keeps uh, doing what she does, you know, just making people um, happy. I mean, people people um, make mistakes. I think we have to we have to stop the cancel culture, you know, and let people learn from their mistakes. And um, you know, like uh, I, I I just think na na lalo na karon ng pandemic, marami tayong realize, marami tayong um, na walang tao sa buhay natin, meron dumating. But I think you know, like we have to start. Um, uh, parang mag-reflect pa, you know, like, kailangan natin, because, you know, like, it's already, like, uh, parang, um, ang dami nang nangyayari, meron pang, you know, like, Asian, uh, Asian hate, uh, nagkaroon ng Black Lives Matter, and para sa akin, like, parang, madadagdagan pa ng ganito, madadagdagan pa ng cancel culture, I think it's too much, you know, para sa akin, let's just try to, at just understand each other a little bit more, you know, like, people make mistakes, and para sa akin, uh, marami na siyang nagawa. Para sa akin, nakikita ko marami siyang napasaya. Um, uh, siguro sa side niya, kung totoo man yun, um, I, re- I apologize sincerely. But, pero para sa akin, wala akong na-experience na, na hindi maganda sa kanya. I, I wish her the best. Yeah. Thank you for your answers, Jake. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Isa. Okay, so, ang ganda ng sagot ni Jake. So, again, um, next up is Mr. Alan Sancon of Stars Photog YouTube channel. Hi, Jake. Hi, Sir Alan. Hello, Bo. Uh, long time no see. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you. Uh, uh, related to your song, Fix Me, di ba? Mm. Ano yung mga gusto mong i-fix in your life? Mm. Oh, um, we given a chance to fix everything. Mm. Uh, oof, I um napaka-impossible ng i-fix because there's there's no really um uh siguro uh siguro kasi I have a really uh, I I I get a really bad anxiety, you know, and sometimes um um na na parang natutuloy siya sometimes sa uh, uh, depression and obviously hindi lang ako but like a lot of people who have that like wait uh, you know like they wish na mafix yon like like that you know because there are times you know like there are times na na I feel good about everything I feel confident you know like I feel na para okay this is gonna be a great uh, year or this is gonna be a great day ganyan. but man you know like and also there are days na talagang Wala. you know like i i see something that would trigger me and and it would affect me in uh, not, not even knowing kung how long and i that's that's the thing that um my whole life actually that i've been wanting to you know um to um to fix you know like i mean don't get me wrong you know like i i don't talk about it much you know um i i pray you know like i have a strong faith but mental health is different you know and it, it's not something i that i can control you know and yun yun siguro i know that there's no like talagang yung cure cure you know like you get better and then you get it gets back you get better it gets back and para sa akin you know like that's just something na alam kong impossible pero i wish that i could just fix like that you know <laughs> so praying for that also and sana ma fix mo <laughs> Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yung second question ko, good vibes naman. Kasi parang nabalitaan ko, uh, isa ka sa ina ay ni Vice Ganda sa kanyang digital concert. Napagsasunayin oh. kanya for the first time ni ni Ayala in one stage, di ba? Ay, wow. nabalitaan mo na ba yun? O may invitation na ba? Or ano? I, I've heard something ba, pero I, I'm not sure, like hindi ako, like hindi ako sure kung talagang, like, <laughs> So, so I didn't know na talagang ano pala like she's yeah, like like talagang he's eyeing like um on me pero that that I it would be an honor you know so kung sakali okay naman sa yo na maging get I, I think I think that parang would be parang you're sharing yeah. stage yata with I sa kanya at yeah. ano kayong special number na gagawin so how excited you are kung sakaling matuloy yan 
I think that would be very iconic, you know. Um, Pride Month is uh, about to happen now, so June, and I think that would be a very uh, a powerful, um, uh, hindi lang hindi lang statement, pero yung yung I think it would be very inspirational, you know, inspiring because I know that there are a lot of people that look up to Ice and a lot of people look up to Ice, and I think that would be uh, iconic, yeah. <laughs> So, congratulations sa ang ganda-ganda ng song mo ngayon. And more power. Thank you. Thank you. So, sana kita tayo soon. Yes, yes. Ingat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Alan. Okay. So, next naman is uh, Sir Albert Brian Avelido of Chicanist Ave and host of the new FYD channel show on Kumu. Ano Ay, meron? Chicanist. Oh, yes! Ang taray talagang for no more. Well, thank you, Jen. <laughs> Hey, Mabuhay! Congratulations, Jay! Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ang bongga ng music video and all. <laughs> um, curious ako, paano, na, paano nakarating sa'yo yung kanta na yun? Paano nag-umpisa um, ko lahat? Eh, actually, ang talagang um, pinaka, parang mastermind talaga, si, si Troy talaga. And, uh, you know, like we've been... Uh, Working, working together, he released his album Kaibigan. And after um, nang nang nangyari yon, you know, we started to, uh, he started you know like talking to me about like, should release a, a song ganyan. And it happened really fast, you know, like it was kind of like uh, to be honest, like a um, like an Oprah moment, David Foster moment. It was like okay, like I know, like contact contacting to sa ganito. I think I have a song. Like, it happened really fast, and and he. Um, he reached out to Andreas Moss, um, uh, who uh, who wrote uh, "Fix Me," and he uh, Andreas sent um, a lot of um, demo songs. And yung "Fix Me" yung pinaka um, nagstand out talaga sa akin. Not just yung not just the melody and yung beat, but yung the, the words, the lyrics as well. And sabi ko, um, yeah, this 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 is great. Actually, you know, like sabi ko, I feel very. Uh, close to the song because Andreas uh, is a Swedish songwriter and I remember when I had my very first single worldwide it was also ano din mga Swedish songwriter sabi ko I think you know like it's meant to be parang um, Sweden is also like close to my heart kasi yan yung unang-unang country na napuntahan ko talaga uh, na na na, uh, na musically na, na napuntahan ko nag-record ako dun. so sabi ko I like this and yeah and Troy made it happen Uh, we recorded it. It happened very, very fast, and now, now, now it's out. <laughs> Ang ganda talaga in all very, very, very fitting yung ano yung yung song for you. And pero um, kasi for a for a while hindi rin na, hindi ka rin naman namin narinig talaga mm-hmm. with di yeah. ba? Pero why do you think ito yung parang magan best song na gusto mong i-offer sa? I think um uh well as a career wise career wise you know like I started as a, you know a pop singer pop R&B singer and I think and I thought that it would be, you know like yeah, would be nice to release something like that too um because before that you know I've been singing more of a classic songs and all that so um I thought that um kind of like uh really something that people are, you know, like familiar with, especially, you know, like we hear uh, the new songs that we hear on the radio. And um, I was just very excited to say, like, start transitioning then, you know, like when I, the first I transitioned, you, it was very hard for me, like vocally, because of course, I adjust and all that. And now that it's starting to kind of like, you know, um, stabilize, parang I got really excited to showcase, you know, like some of my, um vocal techniques you know like i couldn't do the freaking falsettos before so like when i heard like fix me i was like oh yes girl we're gonna do all this yes you know so um yeah i was very excited you know um and um I lo- and i knew that uh people uh, would like it so yeah and, and I, i i hope <laughs> i hope so yeah <laughs> and last question ko na lang po jake mm-hmm. um Apart from this, um, ano ba yung what, what kind of journey sa or saan mo kami dada, saan pa kami dadalhin ng Jake Cyrus um, in the coming years or months? Uh, to be honest, there's a lot of uh, uh, great things that are, that are about to happen. Um, 
I, I can't mention some of them right now, but um, uh, trying are working on something and uh, there's another one that's about to come out. And um, uh, I mean, I think you, you guys, you know, like I, yeah, you guys know me as, uh, you know, like I, in terms of like music, I, I sing different, you know, like genres. I, I, I do, um, sometimes I dance, sometimes I don't, but, you know, but um, I think in terms of music, I think you, you probably, you all will probably um, expect different tastes, you know, like from me. And I know now, like I, I release like say pop R&B in the future, you're going to hear something different. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I guess mainly um, I'm just really like enjoying talaga uh, yung music. It doesn't matter kung anong genre. I enjoy, um, uh, you know, playing with uh, my voice as well. Uh, ever since the transition, I, I, I like, you know, like playing around with um, you must you know, stable kind of voice. And um, I'm, I just want to, you know, like I'm, I'll just keep sharing music uh, to you guys. And, um, but yeah, I can't wait for everyone to, to see the projects that are about to, um, that are about to uh, come out. So yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you and good thank luck, you, Jay. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Sir Albert. Good luck sa bagong, ano, kumu show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before we proceed to our fifth and um, sixth uh, friends from the press that will throw in questions kay Jay, um, we will still accommodate additional questions or follow-up questions. But please, guys, throw it in our chat box dito, dito sa Zoom. And then uh, we will let you know kung ano yung mga questions that we can accommodate. Okay, so now present na tayo to our uh, fifth um, guest mula sa ating mga friends from the press. It's uh, Miss Kate Adahar of Random Republica. Hello, Miss Kate. Hi, Miss Kate. Ayan. Sorry, um, andito, ba, andito na po ba si Miss Kate, Miss Sherin? Yes, present na siya. Pwede yung pag-read na lang yung question. Baka may concern ng... Okay, sa- okay, sige. So, um, nagpadala din naman ng question si uh, Miss Kate sa atin. So, ang question ni Miss Kate Adahar from Random Republica, if you could fix anything in your life now or in the past in a snap jig, what would it be now? Mm, uh, <laughs> um, hmm. I, I, I think I, I just um, answered that probably. Uh, uh, I, um, well, first, my, my mental health. Um, but I, I also... Um, uh, I don't know, cause it's 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 <laughs> it's not my job to fix someone else. <laughs> but I think you know, like I I do hope that um, siguro sa ibang tao din, you know, like for uh, syempre, kasi ako like meron din ako sa pinagdadaanan. But to be honest, like some of the things that contribute to uh, something that I've been wanting to fix is other people as well. So I think you know, um, and obviously hindi ko naman ano. Uh, wala akong right to fix someone else so uh, siguro yun siguro yun siguro sa sarili ko uh, my mental health and then hopefully yung ibang tao yeah very nice of course naman diba we can all we can only always speak on behalf mm. of ourselves diba <laughs> so anyway so ang uh, next question naman natin will be coming from our sixth um, guest, mula sa mga friends natin from the press, from Mr. Von Bellinario of One News PH and News 5. So, meron siyang two questions. Yung first question niya is, um, how personal is this song for you, Dalji? How personal? Um, uh sa totoo lang, uh, talagang napaka-personal sa akin kasi uh, um, until now, you know, that there are days na, na nararamdaman ko yun uh, that I would uh, uh, kind of like have a self-doubt, you know, and I would ask my partner, like, do I uh, 
uh, you know, like, deserve, deserve uh, her love or uh, and, you know, like, and, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, blessed that she's, you know, like, she's been um, handling, <laughs> handling that uh, situation very, very well. But, uh, um, yeah, you know, like, kasi, I know that uh, maraming tao yung mga relate sa song, pero sometimes until now, I still uh, feel that. You know, especially when something uh, na matitrigger ako, Narar- nararamdaman ko siya. So every time I I sing the song, every time I hear um text me, uh personal talaga na na kakarelate talaga ako. Yeah. Alam mo, Jake, iba talaga yung feeling if uh there is someone that gets you, de ba? And gets yes, to yes. fix you, de ba? <laughs> Iba talaga. So, next question naman ni Bon is how were you able to overcome depression? Kasi, di ba, kanina pa natin pinag-uusapan, yeah. di ba? So, how were um, you able to overcome it? Hindi ko pa siya na overcome and I don't know kung kailan pa. It's it's an everyday uh, fight. You know, it's an everyday battle. Uh, like for example, you know, like today it's a good day, could be a bad day tomorrow. I don't know, but um, siguro, um, sometimes the only way that I could kind of like ex- escape it is uh, uh, when I'm feeling, you know, when it's a bad day and I'm feeling and I'm not feeling good about myself or something. Um, I I honestly just try to um, parang hibernate muna. You know, like parang I let it. I let it go, you know, like I, I, if I feel um, in pain or something, um, you know, like I go to like uh, uh, a room and I try to just, I try to, um, kung, kung maraming papasok sa isip ko and mag-iisip ako na kung ano-ano, sa totoo lang, mas gusto ko na hinahayaan ko siya kesa sa pinipigilan ko. Because the more that I try to stop it, the more na parang napupuno yung utak ko. And, you know, and I think that goes with like some people na, na nagsasabi sa'yo na, oh, you shouldn't, you know, uh, you shouldn't think too much or anything. It's hard. Para sa akin, parang it works more if I let it go. And if there's, you know, like something that bothers me, okay, i-bother mo na ako today. Para, you know, like, let's get this over with. You know, like, parang, parang sa akin. And then, like, after that, I try, I try. I'm not saying na parang, Right away, maka move on ka. But that's 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 how I do. It. It's 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 hard, you know. Like it's easier said than done. But I still go through it every day, you know. Like a, a good thing, you know, that today is a um a good day. But uh, yeah, it's an everyday battle, and I that's why um I I wish um happiness and I uh, know um um I I I wish happiness sa mga tao na nakaka nakakaranas, you know. Um, it will be fine. It it might not be all right for for a quite some time pero it will be and then not and then it will be ganun ta- ganun talaga siya ganun talaga thank you Drake napakatapang <laughs> ng sagot mo and and isa sa mga nag nag flashback lang sa kanya isa sa mga words ni Tito Boy before pa sa mga interviews mm-hmm. niya sabi niya pain demands though to be felt Yes, yes, that's boy, that's very, diba? that's So very, if it's very, not very a good day today, just let it be. Okay, yeah, ano yeah. Na, eh, sa hindi mm-hmm. good day, eh. yeah, <laughs> diba? yeah, Pero yeah. again, I I will um go over and and paulit ulit kong sa sabihin yung sinabi ko na kanina. You look good today, <laughs> and I am so happy to see you looking good and smiling. And if if yung pag overcome naman ng depression is is wala naman siyang paunahan or wala naman yeah. mm-hmm. crush and mm-hmm. all it's it's it, kanya-kanyang laban kanya-kanyang, diba? kanya-kanyang yeah. laban sa buhay mm-hmm. diba yeah. if 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 hindi mo siya ma-overcome eventually but you decide to live your life the way mm-hmm. how you can live with it it's it's still it's still a win yes for yes. you Always, always win the battle for you and yourself. Because, <laughs> diba? Para sa atin lang ito. 
<laughs> yes, yes. Wala na. Dead man na sa mga ano. Dead man na sa mga <laughs> environment. Na hindi environmental friendly. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, Bon and Kate, uh, uh, I hope na bigyan ka ng justice yung questions nyo. And, ayan. So, may magtatanong pa daw si uh, Miss Natalie Tomada. Uh, entertainment editor of the Philippine Star. Miss Natalie. Hi, Jake. Hi. Uh, hello. Um, kasi I'm just I'm just gonna jump on parang yung question. Ay uh, yung sagot mo kanina na para maraming realizations over the pandemic. So for you, ano yung parang biggest realization mo as an artist? As an artist. Uh. Hmm. That um, as an artist, uh, career-wise, siguro, um, not everything is uh, um, hmm, not everything is uh, permanent. Because I used to think that na parang ito laga, ito po yung gagawin ko like for the rest of my life. But now you know, like in the future, like madami na ako na isip. I want to do this. You know, I maybe I produce something or maybe, you know, like um anything that I'm like connected but in some music. But you know, I used to think about oh I'll sing, you know, on stage like forever or maging artista ganyan. But um ever since like pandemic happened, parang andaming andaming biglang po masak sa isip ko na parang um that I'm I'm uh more than uh I'm more than um just being I know being an artist. You know, like, pala, gusto ko pang may gawin pang iba, ganyan. So, um, yeah, you know, like, not, parang vice versa, not everything is temporary and, not, you know, like, may mga bagay na hindi rin um, permanent talaga. Parang yun yung, yun yung naisip ko, kumbaga parang enjoy. <laughs> enjoy na lang talaga bilang, hindi, bilang artist din kasi parang napaka-intense, eh. you know, like, the, the, the entertainment industry is so intense. Kanina na mention ko, di ba, may cancel culture pa, ganyan. So, it's been really intense talaga sa, sa showbiz, sa entertainment industry, even sa music industry. So, I try to, um, at least I try, you know, like I try to uh, just enjoy it, you know, uh, just uh, go back always dun sa first goal ko, which is talagang makashare lang ng music sa lahat to inspire uh, some people with um my story you know i'm 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 not perfect you know like hindi naman ako yung parang you know like parang hindi ako yung sobrang mabuting tao minsan may sungay din ako but at least you know i think that's my goal just you know like i've been showing everyone who i really am you know like that the um uh, but I, that's i think yun yung isa sa na realize ko lang talaga na i as an artist you know, I just want to show everyone too, you know, the, um, the real me, not just, you know, the sexuality, not just, hindi lang sa music, but what you see is what you get, you know, like parang sa akin, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy na lang talaga natin. We've lost a lot of lives, um, especially sa nung pandemic, and that's what I realized na hindi lang bilang artista, bilang tayong lahat uh, dito na let's just freaking continue to live, you know, yeah. I thank you for that um inspiring yeah. message and my second question um Jake um since you mentioned um Pride Month is coming and you know people a lot of people from the LGBT community really look up to you so much and I just want to know your parang thoughts about the recent incident um regarding trans man Ebbing Mayor I, I don't know if you're parang aware if can I just yes, ask I've, for I've, I've I've heard about it. I don't really know what to say. I actually, um, kasi nakita, nakita ko yung, you know, like some, uh, like the, the, the gruesome um, photos and, um, I, I'm sorry, but like, it just always like, kind of, I, I always, not everyone, okay, but like, I always, like that line always gets in my head na parang, uh, wala nang takot yung ibang tao, you know? And um, sa akin is like, uh, what upsets me is like I I I don't know if it's true like best friend yeah is is that right I I don't I want to get the right um information but that that really hurts me I mean you know like 
just you the, that um he trusted someone you know he trusted that someone and i and i i know na hindi na natin walang makakabalik na sa kanya but i really hope that um maging lesson din sa iba you know like i think the main um one of the main um realization na nangyari to is yung pinakikisamahan natin ng mga tao you know um and i'm i'm very uh I, I don't even know like hindi pa rin ako alam niyo hindi pa rin ako sobrang masaya na nahuli yung <laughs> nahuli yung ano eh yung mga suspects it's like I you know it's like um I I really don't know what to say I, what I what I what I wanna um siguro ang gusto ko lang sabihin is mag-ingat mag-ingat na lang tayo kasi wala eh kahit anong sabihin natin para may mga ibang tao talaga hindi na natatakot especially um the you know most importantly don't do drugs just please don't do drugs i think that's one of the intelligent biggest factor why it also happened you know we can't blame anybody here yes there were some you know like trust issues and all that but drugs no so magingat na lang tayo we have to always um be vigilant look uh, look around kung sino may mga pinakikisamahan natin especially nag nung nagka-pandemic lalo maraming naging you know like desperate talaga na mga na mga um, tao so let's just be careful we can't bring him back but i do hope that what happened to him uh, na magsilbi na na lesson para sa ating lahat sa LGBT community because i know that there are say, I, i i i we were talking about it i get some messages that are that people you don't want to see you know and um and i know that there are a lot of lgbt's out there too that um na um they probably like take it as a joke but i would think twice now you know na they that they would take it as a joke like even as a joke na para oh hindi ito lang ang kailangan mo or ito ano o babae ka pa rin no ganito o much challenge yung the toxic masculinity you know what i'm saying and um magingat lang talaga magingat na lang tayo especially sa lgbt community you know there are si- still some people that don't understand and don't want to understand um uh, so magingat na lang talaga magingat na lang tayo tayong lahat yeah thank you so much jay thank you. for that thank you, thank you. thank you thank you miss natalie okay you, so meron pa tayong Meron pa tayong questions, Jay. Konti na lang ito, promise. <laughs> okay, so isa sa mga questions natin will be coming from uh, Robert Retintina of uh, Manila Bulletin. Robert? Okay. Hello, Jay. Hi, sir. Um, hello. hello, good afternoon, Jay. Okay, uh, a few days ago, you had parang sort of disagreement with some of your fans social media. Mm-hmm. So my question is, is there anything you want to clear or message any message to them? What happened? I think um, yeah, I I think I've made it very clear. I I don't think there's nothing else to you know like to um clear. I think my message was you know like very clear. I do that very you know like I used to do a lot, but the, this past few years mm-hmm. very often na lang talaga ako magsalita sa ganon. But um. Yeah, I think that's why parang one time big time na uh, I just say whatever it, uh, whatever it is uh, that was in my mind mm-hmm. and you know like I think my message was uh, very um very clear you know that um uh again there are some limitations you know like there are some limitations na I also know when you sincerely make a mistake and when you're intentionally trying to you know like in, insult me you know like kahit na public figure ako i'm still you know like a, uh, i'm still a human and i know how to you know like read emotions as well and read um uh some you know like talagang uh, yung tinatry na sabihin sa akin and i think um you know like i'm not saying na parang uh, you know because there are some like parang going ano na kasi medyo you know like parang below the belt na parang 
also like parang common sense you know like parang of course you know like parang of course it did sound like Sherry's darling because it, it's my voice darling you know like parang um it, i just transition my voice transition so no matter what when, when, uh, whenever i sing high notes you will hear Sherry's but i there's a limitation of oh that sound that sounded like Sherry's but I appreciate your voice, Jake. Great job. There's a difference between that and to, oh, Sharice is back. Jake is gone. What the, What do you want now? Long hair? Gown? You know, like, parang there are some people that don't. Because, of course, I'm a transgender man. So um, that kind of comment is it's very insensitive. You know, it's very insensitive because, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, it's literally like kind of making me feel na parang joke lang tong lahat ng ginagawa ko. Na joke lang tong decision ko. Na joke lang yung na trans man ako. Na joke lang yun. It's not. You know? And I'm happy that uh, that you hear that. I actually felt good recording that. I, I try to actually said that, oh my God, but you know, like parang, ooh, like that high note, you know, like sounding like um, uh, Sharice and all that. And I thought that people would take it that way and still appreciate it. Some nang naman, hindi naman lahat. But, you know, I thought that some people would appreciate, uh, think of it that way, but I guess not. So I thought, you know, like, parang, this is just one time. I just have to let, you know, like some people know. And um, there's, a, there's a difference between opinion and insult. Mm-hmm. You know, like, kasi merong opinion na na hindi mo naman naiintindihan yung mga pinagdaanan ko. You know, like parang, I think just, if you enjoy that, and if you still can't move on, you know, like sa akin as Sharice, again, my videos as Sharice are on YouTube. Feel free to listen to that. I don't have a problem with that. I, we still talk about that. We, I still watch that sometimes. But there's a difference na yung nire-respeto mo yung nakaraan ko pero binabastos mo kung ano ako ngayon. There's a difference sa dalawa yung may limit, may limitation, you know, like whatever it is that I decided for my life, for yung personal na decision ko, I've made that decision. Ang dami kong pinagdaanan bago ko ma-reach yung decision na yun, hindi siya joke. And I think, you know, like some people did, didn't uh, didn't know na ganung ka-deep yung, yung um, hindi lang na basta-basta I woke up one day and I'm like, I'm gonna transition. It's not like that. So yeah, I just I think you know, and I, I basically parang inano ko lang message ko. Pero I try to fit that on <laughs> Instagram. But yeah, that's that's what I that's what I meant, naman. You know, again, I don't. Uh, I know when someone makes a, you know like makes a you know like mistake about oh Sharice, oh sorry, like Jake, oh, it's fine. But like there's also some people na parang I've encountered some, you know, and. You know, and there are some on the dead, you know, like celebrities, you know, na parang, like, the, you know, like someone else corrected them already, but they kept saying, you know, like that. And I'm like, oh, okay, I know, I know this kind, you know, this kind of people. So I tried to avoid that, but that day, sabi ko lang talaga na, I had to let it out kasi medyo na pupuno na siya sa, sa mind ko and ayoko mag breakdown, ayoko mag ano, so that uh, I just had to let them know. And I hope that clear yun sa, sa, sa lahat. Yeah. I hope clear na rin sa kanal lang. Okay, good vibes naman. Um, sino ba ang mga musical influences ni Jake Cyrus these days? Hmm. Uh, iba yung... Depende po sa genre. <laughs> Actually, pag pop um, R&B, obviously, so like, for example, sa Fix Me Inspiration, like, uh, Justin Timberlake, um, uh, Shawn Mendes, ganyan. But I, I like for example, when I sing ballad, my inspirations um, are Josh Groban, Michael Bublé, si Tito Martin. <laughs> I mm-hmm. sing your songs sometimes. Um, si Tito Gary, ganyan. I sing your songs. But um, mm-hmm. I also like listen to, I still listen to, you know, I still listen to Celine. I still listen to Whitney. Like, mm-hmm. um, and uh, depende po, depende sa genre. But siguro mm-hmm. since we're talking about Fix Me, like more like mga pop ano talaga icons like Justin Timberlake, Bieber, Shawn Mendes, ganyan, um, The Weeknd, mga ganyan, Bruno Mars, mga ganyan. Apo. Okay, <laughs> congratulations, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Robert. Tama si Jake, no? There is a thin line 
between insult and ano, opinion. So, minsan nakocross talaga ng, ng mga yeah. tao yun. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, thank you so much, uh, Sir Robert. So, ang ating uh, next question, ayan, si Marco Polo, ayan, Marco Polo demo of a kwento ni Toto vlog. Marco, you're here. Ayan. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, Jake. Good afternoon. Hi. Hello, po. Hello. Yes, just one question lang for you. Uh, we've heard the song and we've known the theme of the song. In the coming years, what are the theme of the songs that you're going to or going to or you're planning to release? Um, ako po kasi talagang I you know like I love pretty much doing uh singing different genres. I I know that you guys see me do rock, you've seen me do jazz, you know like you've seen me do ballads obviously. Um I I kind of actually I kind of like go with the flow, you know, I try to like trust my, you know, like my follow my heart, trust my instincts. Like for example, you know, before I released uh Fix Me, I released something uh that uh kind of a jazz pop song Miss You in the Moonlight and then now it's pop R&B. I think I just like to, you know, because uh, for me, you know, like music is music, talaga, and you know, right now I released a pop R and B. I, you know, maybe following that by, you know, like same genre, and then maybe, so you know, like ballad and all that. But pretty much, you're probably gonna expect uh, just different music, you know, different music um, from me for everyone to um, to enjoy, po. And um, yeah. <laughs> How about the lyrics? Uh, what kind of lyrics? Yeah, what kind of lyrics? Ah, <laughs> sigur, <laughs> uh, depende ba ako kasi ala, parang ang kiliti ng mga pinoy gusto talaga yung mga nasasaktan eh, no? <laughs> mga hugot, mga hugot ba? Yung mga hugot songs talaga, eh. yung mga love songs yun yun. So probably uh, malamo po yun ang ano natin, ang 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 path natin. But ah. Uh, Yeah, I think we we all love that ano tayo, yung, yung yung theme, yung lyrics ng song when we hear something. Hindi ba merong minsan na parang hindi naman tayo nalulungkot pero when you hear a song like that mm-hmm. it's like gakang magiging emo, naiimo ka ganyan. So and um yeah, and siguro po yun yung ano, yun yung uh, path na ano na gagawin, na gagawin po next song. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank Jay. You thank you so and congrats, much. congrats with the song. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Marco. Okay, so next question natin, um, medyo magsasara na po kami ng tindahan. <laughs> Kasi medyo, <laughs> oh, medyo oh, humahaba na po. So, uh, i-entertain na lang natin itong mga naunang nag-send pagkatapos natin yeah. sabihin na na last question na ito. Kasi kailangan na pong magligpit ng paninda. <laughs> okay. So, um, si Eugene Assis of People's Journal. Ayan, nandito rin siya para magtanong. Eugene? Ayan. So, Eugene, sige, basahin ko na lang yung question ni Eugene. Actually, kanina ko pa rin gusto itanong to. Sabi okay. niya kasi, ang cute-cute daw ng mga dogs mo, Jake. So, baka pwede mo daw i-introduce sa amin. Ayan. Uh, I have two babies. Uh, we have two babies yung isa. Ito si Eggsy Pug. O, oh, nagbihis talaga sila para sa inyo, guys. Actually. Pareho Ay, so cute! Twin gising siya. Sila. Mukha lang po siyang tulog pero gising siya. <laughs> Ayan, Hi! Pag, and then, Hello! Say hi! Hi! And then, ito yung isa kong baby. Ito si... Ito naman si Changoy, a Shih Tzu. Sorry kasi natutulog sila eh. Ang cute Kita naman ng pangalan, Changoy. <laughs> Changoy. And then, uh, it was after um, oh. obviously yung name, uh, Charisse, and then yung brother ko kasi yung nickname niya, Koy Koy. So, Changoy. Changoy. And then, and then Hmm. Ayan, yan yung babies. Yan po yung babies. Uh, ito po si Chakoy. Um, uh, At Chakoy. 11 years old. And then si Eggsy magpa-5. There you go. <laughs> okay. Thank you, so, Jay. Thank, uh, thank you. Uh, sorry, nandiyan pala si Eugene. Oh, pero, oh, no, I can, <laughs> sorry, I can, sorry. Yeah, I cannot uh, turn my video on. Medyo may bitaw. My second question is, Jake, 
Meron ba mga ano, may mga acting projects ba na naka-line up sa in uh, this year or next year? Um, there are some offers na nakuha ko pero kasi talagang gusto ko po muna mag-focus at sa music talaga and um hopefully uh, hopefully more more live performances I really miss uh doing that. Um but uh siguro po pagka ano kasi talagang natigil talaga parang tumigil yung mundo ko eh like musically you know like yes. uh, and now that i miss it and medyo you know like pa paano nakakalabas na po ako like for like sa tv ganyan um i want to parang uh, focus on that again para kasi nakinga po like parang it's been a uh, it's been a long time so siguro po mm, maybe next year mas you know like mas magiging open po ako doon kasi um pag nag medyo nakaano din nakaka-pressure din kasi pag <laughs> sa acting kasi syempre hindi ko naman talaga like forte talaga like i just have fun. like sometimes pag okay i'll do it okay pero music pa rin po talaga singing pa rin po talaga yung focus ko pero any live concerts uh kahit sa uh, digital platforms Siguro po ang makakasagot niya ano, star music ano. <laughs> pero, uh, pero we've been planning, we've been planning ano for uh, I remember we planned something and then nagkaroon ng lockdown again. I mean, I know that it's online pero syempre mahirap po kasi ano yung, yung mga setup setup na ganyan. But uh hopefully uh the soonest, you know, um there uh been talking to uh you know like um, my team and also syempre um kay, kay Troy as well we've been um working on something but uh in terms of the digital concert po siguro um maybe anytime soon but what I'm, what I'm trying to like talaga nag hope talaga ako si yung um yung uh siguro hindi po dito sa Pinas maybe sa ibang bansa but kasi di ba kahit pa paano doon medyo nag-aani na sila um nago open na like yung mga live shows and all that so maybe mga ganun po yeah okay thank you and looking forward to that thank you. thank you thank you pa thank you thank you sir Eugene so um what of our last uh nag throw in ng questions si Tita Salve Asis of Filipino Star ngayon babasahin ko na lang po yung question niya um Jake, um, question ni Tita Salve is, um, any plans, I mean, after uh, you uh, fixing yourself, meron bang plans to fix something um, grand with your girlfriend currently? My wedding bells ba? <laughs> My wedding bells daw bang tumutanog in the background? <laughs> Ayan, nakaka-pressure, Jake. <laughs> May halong pressure yung tanong ni Tita Salve. <laughs> Slight time, hindi. Um, I think, ano naman po, um, parang, may, may, hindi, we're, 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 um, we're engaged, um, and I think, um, na, 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 balita naman po yan, so may ibang taong nang kaalam naman po, but, um, uh in terms of i know uh, <laughs> getting married actually um because <laughs> we wanted to uh shepherd like uh i know that uh sometimes you know like uh, i post something about her ganyan, but not uh hindi naman yung, yung sobrang you know like sharing talaga and siguro para po sa, when we get um married uh, i don't think na you know like we'd want to um kind of uh hindi the muna namin i i hindi namin i share i we we would love to kind of uh have that um you know like privacy na pag you know na pag nagpakasal kami uh yung parang tipong after na lang malalaman i mean gets you know like it's not like we're going to do something na parang you know um I, ilabas sa ano you know sa kung kung after malaman ng lahat malaman mo then okay but you know but um before siguro like the planning ganyan and the wedding um itself we'd love to have that parang na kami you know na na kami lang muna yung nakaalam but definitely you know like once that happen you probably ano naman talaga um malalaman naman po pero pagtapos na <laughs> 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, but we just want a simple ano ba? Simple uh wedding. We don't want anything um uh super grand, you know, just just people that are uh close to us and yun yun lang definitely sa ibang bansa po, uh, probably uh yeah, ca- uh, California. It's not impossible naman na siguro ang magpapa-impossible na lang noon ay dahil nasa gitna pa tayo ng pandemya yeah. currently. Yes, yes. But Actually, that's de- very true. Oh, very true. Diba? Diba? But if that happens, we'll be very happy for you. Pa-vlog ko tayo ulit. <laughs> Magsasabi tayo ulit. Kailang, kailang, <laughs> parang ganito din, pero magsashare lang ng mga photos. Uh, <laughs> Kila Miss Cheryl. Okay, so another question from Sir Alan Policarpia of Philippine Daily Inquirer. Jake, what do you love the most about your singing voice right now? And meron ba mga new things or colors that you have been discovering about it? Uh, I, I, I love my falsettos. To be honest, I enjoy doing it a lot. Um, uh, I, I'm still actually like I'm still uh, like parang what do you call this like parang training you know like my voice uh, like vocalization because there are still parts that kind of like adjusting but like my mid tones and all that but my uh, but my falsetto um, I enjoy using it a lot you know I I sometimes I sing like earth wind and fire you know like, to the love is gone. Mm-hmm. You know, and then you know like I try to like kind of like challenge my ano din, my my um new vocal score you know like i would vocalize and sing some uh uh, uh mga, like some luke james songs na talagang napakataas ng um falsetto you know but i, I enjoy um using my falsettos because i couldn't do that i couldn't do that like the first na nag transition ako as in wala talaga like, parang paus na paus talaga yung voices ko but now you know like i i enjoy doing it I used to uh, like enjoy doing that because like before I transition, so like I'm so glad that you know I I I I get to do it again now. So yeah, I love how comfortable you are. Sa sa voice <laughs> mo ngayon, it shows and we hear it. How you how you the ba talk about it nakakatuwa. So ano pa mm-hmm. daw mga nami-miss mo about live shows and what's the first place that you wanna perform in? When the pandemic is over, mm, uh, I uh, I miss the band, you know, working with uh, my kapatid Troy and the rest of the band, and I uh, I miss uh, I miss that um, you intense, you intense na part like <laughs> like I, I know you know like some sometimes when it gets a technical problem, like it gets intense. I, I kind of miss that, you know, and then. Uh, I think most especially I miss the audience, you know, like I miss interacting with them, you know, like you get to do meet and greets and hug them, you know, and talk to them and all that. And um, yeah, I know, 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 I Oh, I'm 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 actually torn between um California and Japan. But I has made this new land, huh? I'm actually kind of hmm. Ah, siguro ano ah ah siguro LA and then Japan. Kasi parehong ano yung ma ma um naging malaking ano din talaga yung ah support sa akin. Uh, so, you should US and then Japan. And yeah, that's, those are probably like my place. Na, outside, ano, outside uh, Philippines. Siyempre, dapat dito talaga. But yeah. Yeah, pag may vaccine na tayo. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, okay, so last na mag on cam question is si Teacher Joe Bonsol from jobonsol.com. Hello po! Hi. Hello po! Hi! Congratulations, Hello. Jake! Thank you, Miss Jim. I'm so excited. I'm one of your number one fan. And I've covered you before. But congratulations on this beautiful song. It's You are one of the examples that talent really is. 
<laughs> oh, has no italagang it's beautiful i think some of the very popular bloggers will also international bloggers na nag-feature ng mga Filipino artists na international you will be featured so and i know <laughs> you will get there and i know that you know oh, it's shaping you. the kind of jig eh, pero ang tanong ko talaga siguro kasi uh, um we we've, we've seen the people the the netizens your fans everything eh susundan ka nila dun sa TikTok at isasayaw nila yan. Uh-huh. Confident ka na ba sa pagsasayaw mo? <laughs> oh my God! Alam niya, sa totoo lang po, ano, nagpagsabi ko nga yun nung nakita ko, sabi ko, sasayaw, sasayaw, sasayaw ako sa ASAP, sasayaw ako dito sa bahay, sasayaw ako dyan sa, hindi ko, hindi ko pa talaga kayo magsayaw ng TikTok eh. Yung pag nakita, yung ganun, yung ganun, na, na baka, baka kasi, ano eh, ang tawag doon, gawin ako meme. <laughs> Kasi ang uh, medyo awkward ako sa ano sa TikTok sabi ko nga yung partner ko sa ko partner ko na lang yung sasaya tapos sa background na ako. <laughs> but um but um yeah I'm I'm uh, I'm looking forward actually I'm looking forward uh, sa mga um yung mga advanced tawag ng TikTokers ba yung mga TikTok TikTokers challenges oh so, and, and if challenges it ever will the songs or the future songs that you will have Uh, will you be open for duet? Kasi some people in the mm. they do duets, no? Diba? Yes, ma'am. Tapos they collaborate with other famous yes. uh, singers also and then sometimes they want the fans to sing along their song and then pass it yes. forward. Will you be open for that? Kasi I've noticed wala kaya tang TikTok doon. Meron ba? Wala po. I, I actually don't know. Pero per- yung personal TikTok wala po akong um, TikTok talaga but uh, but yeah like I, I siguro kung magte-TikTok ko or yun magagawa ko yun like in duets like duet with you know uh with um with fans pero hindi hindi po ako sure kung ready na ako mag-share ng mga hope mga hope hindi pa po yung mga We love your dance step. Ah uh, isa pa sa blast na tanong ko. Meron ka rin bang K-pop na ano na you would like to sing their song like Butter kung oh. sakali. Ah uh, hmm. Uh, sa totoo lang po ang um, hmm. Siguro po BTS pero alam kong kanta nila rin. Yeah like and <laughs> you know them go um But uh, I used to, uh, I, 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 unang-unang K-pop group na nakasama ko, Super Junior. Eh. And I remember I used to sing their songs. Um, hindi, naman, hindi ko pa naman po siya like, na-perform like, live, pero I used to sing their songs like, ano, sa bahay, ganyan yung mga, uh, like, sorry, sorry. So like, I used to dance, <laughs> dance with it as well. So siguro, y- y- yun, Super Junior talaga yung unang-unang um yung uh, uh, K-pop group po talaga na yung mas marami akong uh, alam na songs because yung isa po sa songwriter nila ng Super Junior also wrote a song for me. So that's why parang connected. So, uh, and then obviously, ayun, ngayon po lumabas merong BTS, Blackpink, ganyan. And, pero alam, narinig ko lang po lagi yung Dynamite. <laughs> Okay, so we look forward, no? I'm so excited. Congratulations. Thank you, thank thank you, you very thank much. You so much. Thank you, Jake. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank thank you, you, you. teacher Jo. Thank you sorry, sorry. I mean, the band of Super Junior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. High school pa ako noon. Bakit ganyan? Ang luma na. Luma na. Parang nagkaka-revealan tayo ng mga ano dito. Okay, so again, ayan, Jake. Promote mo na, invite mo ang ating mga friends from the press. Thank them. Invite mo sila sa mag-stream ka ng single. Mag-stream sila ng single mo and all. Go! The floor is yours. Yes po. Ah, sorry po. Baka sabaka magkamali ako. Basahin ko lang dito. No? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hello po. Uh, hello po sa inyo lahat. Sa mga J-Sters ko po dyan. My newest single, Fix Me. Um, is out now. Available in all digital uh, streaming platforms um, worldwide. And uh, you can watch the official music video on Star Music YouTube channel. And uh, Fix Me is written and composed by Grammy-winning composer Kenneth Mackey, Swedish singer-songwriter Andreas Moss, and American record producer Joshua Braun-Liu. And of course, produced 
by international musical director Troy Loretta with ABS-CBN Music International. Yan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa mga press po na sumuporta po ngayong araw. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you din, Jem. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, Star Thank you, Jay. My team as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you din kay Ms. Sheryl at saka kay Sir A from ABS CBN Corpcom. Ayan, maraming salamat po sa assistance niyo sa amin um, ngayong hapon. To our people from the IT department, salamat po. Franz, thank yes. you. Carl, <laughs> thank, you. thank you. And Jake, maraming maraming salamat. I hope nag-enjoy ka. This is a very insightful yes. afternoon. Um, I will leave the floor now to Franz. Again, thank you, thank you everybody. Thank you. Salamat po. Thank you po.